Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video, we will continue from where we had left in the part one. So, guys, what we uh, were going to do is we now we were now going to start the coding for the Google Maps SDK. All right. So, first of all, here we have to use for the latest Google uh, SDK. So, we have to use the fused location provider client so we create a an object and then we have the google map and we name it as map and then we will have to use a marker so we have this marker object here and then we have the location request okay so we will have a variable or you can say an object for the location request all right and finally we will have a lat long so there you can see we, we will have the lat long so we will define all of them later but first of all we have to specify or we have to initialize the fused location uh, fused location client so for that we can say fused location provider client equal to location services dot get fused location provider client and in here we have to pass this all right and also one thing which i have uh, forgotten is that we have to implement an interface and that will be the on map ready callback okay and there you can see we have an error so we have to press alt enter and click on implement methods and we have to implement the on map ready method here all right so first of all what we are going to do is we are now here and here we have to write sport map fragment sport map fragment and it will be sport map fragment get sport fragment manager and here we can say dot find fragment by id and here we have to specify the id and finally we can say map fragment map sport map fragment dot get map async and in here we have to pass on this all right so now what we are going to do is uh, yes okay so now first of all we have to now click uh, use the method on map ready and first of all we have to specify m map equal to google map and then here we can say m map dot set map type and it will be google map dot map type normal and then we can say location request so now we have to request for the location so we can say new location request and then we can say location request dot set interval and here we will have 7000 so we have to specify an interval so it means that after every 7 seconds my location will be fetched and we have to specify the longest interval so we can say set fastest fastest interval and it will be around 10 seconds and then we can say location request dot set priority so we have to specify the priority so we can say location request dot priority low power and then we have the other two functions okay but before that what we are going to do okay so now we are going to use the location uh, callback so for this we can say location callback and we have to specify the location callback because we are not going to use the uh, on location change method okay so the on location change method has been deprecated so we have to use a callback for the location so for this here we can say new location callback or equal to on location on location callback 
let me see what was the code new location callback okay and then we have to use on location result was to new location callback and here we have to specify on location result all right so after we have the on location result all right so inside the on location result first of all we have to specify we have to use the for loop so for location because we, we will be getting the multiple location so here we can say location result dot get locations so okay so now here we can say uh, m last location equal to location okay so here we have to find the last location or so we can say location last location and we can say it to be like last location equal to location all right and then here for after this after the for loop now what we are going to do here is we can check if the current marker is not equal to null so for this we can say current or we can say only the marker so here we can check if marker is not equal to null it means that the marker is already there so only we have then we have to remove the marker so we can say marker dot remove because if there is already a marker so we first we have to remove the marker and then update the marker so for this here we can say lat long and it will be equal to new lat long and here we can pass on our last location so we can say dot get latitude and last location dot get longitude okay so we have the lat long object here then we have to display the marker so for that we can use the marker option so we can say marker options equal to new marker option then we can set the marker options dot uh, position and we can pass on the lat long for the for the marker position then we can set the title so we can say current location and then we can say marker options dot icon we have to provide so we can say bitmap descriptor factory dot default marker and inside this we can say bitmap descriptor factory dot hue red and then finally we can say uh, that we can add it so here we can say marker equal to and here we can say m map dot add marker and for the add marker we can pass on the marker options here all right and finally we can move the location to our new uh, marker so for that we can say m map dot move camera and inside the move camera we can say camera update factory dot new lat long and sorry new lat long zoom and here we have to provide the lat long and finally we have to provide a zoom factor so for this we can say 14 all right so now this is the location call back which we have to use so after this we are going to uh, use or uh, we have to use the check the permissions so for this first of all what we uh, what we can do we have the two functions so before because if the location or the gps is switched off so we have to display a dialog for the user so
so that the user can switch on the GPS without going back from the application. All right. So for this, we can first of all write uh, where it is inside our on, on map ready. Yes. Then here we can say request location dialog. Then we will have another which is the check permission and request location okay so we will have these two functions so the first function will is the request location dialog okay guys so i think we can do it in my next part of the video so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye